everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. I'm Lorient. And I'm Mike, if you didn't know. And that's Brody. <laughs> that is a mongoose. I swear every time we sit down to film anything, like the dogs just... Flock, they flock over to us. Yeah, they like being on camera. Oddly enough, last year when we filmed this very same video, which is our 2021 goals, um, we filmed the entire video with Brody and Mia on our laps. Why is that? I don't know. And where was Charlotte? I'm pretty sure he's iguana. Look how he's licking. Like, he has anxiety and it causes him to like lick uncontrollably. Half dog, Sorry. half iguana. <laughs> this is our 2021 goals our goals for this new year <laughs> and we're hoping this new year is better than last year we watched last year's video of this back and we were just so hopeful so full of hope for the year ahead and then 2020 just crushed all of our souls it's sad like i feel bad saying that like 2020 was like the year from hell because it was. because we got our son out of the deal I mean, our son was born, we, we got to be in the hospital with him because he was born literally right like the week before the whole country shut down for co with COVID. Yeah. Um, had he been born a few days later, we wouldn't have been in the hospital with him. Um, we wouldn't have been able to be there. We got right. to have a room there and then we got to bring him home and it was stressful, you know, worrying about the pandemic and trying to keep him healthy. but. We did it and we finalized his adoption in 2020. So it's hard to say that 2020 was like the worst year ever because we got like the best thing imaginable out of it. Yeah. But it also robbed us of quite a bit. It robbed us of our baby shower for him. And, yep. and after, you know, four years of infertility, adoption those are like little, yeah, we didn't get to have the adoption finalization in the court. We didn't get to have a party. Those things are small and seem trivial in the grand scheme of things. And they are, but after four plus years of infertility, those were things we were really, really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when we finally thought we were going to have our moment, it got stripped. Yeah. <laughs> but again, all pretty small in the grand scheme of things. We got the best thing out of this year. But right. we're just hoping for more normalcy in 2021. What's normal anymore? I don't, I don't know. Really know. I don't know. We're just, we're hoping. We're living on a prayer, guys. Bon Jovi's from New Jersey. We're from New Jersey. We're living on a prayer. That's right. So when setting New Year's goals, this is how we like to do it, okay? I think sometimes if you just make a list, like a running list of like goals that you want to accomplish, um, it can be a lot. It can be too much. It's hard to focus on so many goals at one time, right? So the way we like to do it is we each set a personal development goal for ourselves and then we set a health goal for ourselves. Yeah. Okay. So it's like really like two things that you're working on, um, personally. And then we set a family or household goal, which is something we set together. Right. Um, we set a financial goal for our for our family. That's another one we set together. And then we slash mostly me set a goal for the YouTube channel. I don't know why you just did your neck like that. I don't really know what that was about. I mean, you think I don't help at all in this whole thing? Sometimes he holds the camera. I don't ever edit. I don't ever. No. Added music. No. What? Y'all, Michael Toll doesn't even know how to log into the computer. <sighs> She's bugging. He does everything on his phone. I do. Most of the time when I hand him the camera and I say, can you film something? He says, what button do I have to hit to record? <laughs> <laughs> now why do we got to talk about old stuff? <laughs> Let's get into the goals because- Let's dive in. We are probably going to get chatty like we always like do. Like we always do. We don't know how to stop talking. <laughs> so I guess I'll start with my personal, my personal development goal for Let's myself. Let's hear it. So my personal development goal, normally what I do is I like, I pick one goal that I want to focus on for like the whole year. This year I want to do something different. Ooh, let's hear. I want to create a theme for each month that will help me build positive habits. Ooh. So for example, um, in January, I want to do like a 31 day, cause that's 31 days in January, a 31 day, like declutter kind of series. It's like a challenge. So on day one, I get rid of one thing, whether that's throwing it out or donating it day two, two things, day three, three things and so on and so forth. And then eventually on day 31, you're getting rid of 31 items. Wow. Um, and I thought that January would be the perfect time to do that because 
we're going to get ready to list the house. And yes. so we have to put what we're keeping in storage. Um, we're going to move in with my parents for a little bit. And anything we're not keeping needs to go. It needs to either be sold or donated or trashed. And so this will help us get ready to kind of move out, declutter our house so that we can show it. And I thought this was just like the perfect time for it. But I also have other ideas. Like I want to do like a no spend month. And I want to do like, since we're on WW, I want to do a month where I hit blue dots every single day, which means like you've tracked and you're within your points every single day. Um, you know, I want to spend 30 minutes reading every day, one month this way, like I can build positive habits and listen, some of them might not stick. Like I might try reading 30 minutes every day. And by the end of the month, I might be like, I don't really want to do that anymore. And that's okay. Um, but the ones that I like, hopefully those stick and I continue those forever. But this way it's like mini goals per month. And it's not like focusing on one long monotonous goal all year. Look at you all grown up. You're doing a great job at adulting. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> now for me, being I did such a great job meeting my goals last year, <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like any of my goals were met. I don't think all. any of anybody's goals were met in 2020. But at I least the energy is there. We all started strong and then we had to take the year off. We just, we couldn't mentally handle everything that was being thrown at us. At least the energy is there. Yeah. So um, what is your personal development goal for 2021? My personal development is a lot like last year's personal development, but I'll repeat it anyway. Um, so I would like to save money. Now how I'm going to execute that is I'm going to eat out less. Mm -hmm. With me cutting out breakfast when I go to work, that's gonna save me a good amount of money. So I'm gonna start there and then see what other things I can cut out that's useless, useless spending. Yeah, just like personal, reduce your personal spending. Right. Overall, because we'll get into like our financial goal for like our household and everything. Um, a little bit later but like mike wanted his personal goal to be like how he was going to kind of contribute to that on his right. end um and if, for those of you who don't know mike works in in new york city um and a city that never sleeps it never sleeps and it is expensive a Very f expensive. and i know that because i used to go to school in the city and i would pick up food on to and from class and stuff like that all the time and like right. it all adds up i remember when i would intern there was a really great chopped salad place across from where i was working oh, yeah. and i would bring my lunch a lot but then i started to notice that i was the only one bringing my lunch which is crazy to me because i they were all very young professionals it was a startup company like they couldn't have been making a lot and they're they living in the home. city no they lived in the city oh like well, they all lived in the me. city they weren't all i was the only intern well, and so me. i was like where are you getting all they would eat out every single day and so like i started to feel self-conscious about heating up my hot pocket i was the only person that ever utilized the microwave <laughs> and so i started getting salads at the chopped salad place with everybody else and like oh my gosh it was 18 dollars every time i got a chopped salad that's crazy 18 it was an unpaid internship i was poor i'll tell you what though <laughs> i've gotten close to that for breakfast Okay, I would go to this place that I like to go to. I like to get an omelet, and then I like to get a freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh, the fr Hold on, because there's no points in it, right? You have freshly squeezed orange juice money, and I wasn't aware? I wasn't aware that I had freshly <laughs> squeezed orange juice money, okay? It was a shock. <laughs> it was a shock to me and the guy at the register, all right? Oh, my gosh. He said, he's, what was it, like? like 16 bucks or something i'm like you gotta be kidding that me. juice had to have been like yeah, that was ridiculous because even to get juice like out is expensive the my breakfast and you the, could buy a whole carton for what it costs to get a together. large orange juice at a diner yeah. came out to like 16 dollars that's and change. insane so yes le was. less of that now my my personal health goal for 2021 um <laughs> It's the same as last year. I had said that I wanted to lose 50 pounds last year. That is still the case. Now, in 2020, I did lose 20 pounds, right? I don't remember. I think I lost 20 pounds when we were doing Weight Watchers in the summer. Okay. Like when we started it, we started it in July and then I kind of fell off like a little bit before Thanksgiving, but I had lost 20 pounds. Um, so I was like almost halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and then it didn't end up working out for me. But so my goal this year is to still lose the, the 50 pounds. I want to just get in a better health state overall. For me, it's a lot less about the number on the scale and it's more about just like the way I feel even internally um, and the way I feel in my clothes and like all of those things. I just want to get healthier habits, especially because it's not the plan to get pregnant in 2021, but we're probably going to start that journey in 2022. Hopefully and so, if 2021 plans work out. Work out. Um, and so with that being said, I need to be in a better health and physical state in order to start infertility treatments. That's a lot on your body. And I just need to be in a better place with all of that. So girl, me and you both. So it's your health goal. My health goal is just to feel better about myself. I know when I gain weight before even stepping on the scale, I yeah. feel it walking around. Like I, yeah. I just, I feel it in me. Like I put on <laughs> five, 10 pounds, whatever it is. I know when I go on a scale, I'm usually pretty close to what I thought I put on. Yeah. So I would like to lose a little bit of weight. I want to get just back in the overall healthier state of health. Yeah. If that makes any yeah. sense. And also I think like just for like the fact that we're parents now. Right. And Josiah is like watching us. I don't want him to like. No. see us like binging gobbling down four yeah it's like pizza. binging junk food and then like sitting down and watching movies like i don't want that to be yeah. his life like i want to be active i, want, to be active. I want him to, to sh parks. yeah like he's gonna do whatever we do right like that the example that we set for him is what he's going to see and follow and so we we need to be better more health conscious just better adults more active um, so that he sees that and is like, yes, that's normal. Balance is important. We don't have balance. We're just too far on the unhealthy side. <laughs> Those are personal goals. Now our family household goal. Our family household goal last year was to grow our family. So this year, like I mentioned earlier, we're not planning on growing our family in 2021. Right. Um, we still have plans for that, just not this year. Um, right now we're really focused on finding our perfect family home our perfect family home, right. not the perfect family home so more videos to come on our home fixing up and selling journey and our home shopping journey and all and all of those things um but yeah the goal is this year to find and hopefully close on our home our family home i want it to be our forever home but i don't know if we're there yet right because New Jersey is just really expensive. Um, yeah. It's just, it's so expensive. And right now, it's, it's, the market is crazy. That's why we're selling right now. But to buy right now, nuts. And our financial goal is to save money for our next home. Yep. I think we had a, a goal last year. We weren't looking to buy our home last year, but we were supposed to start saving. Mm -hmm. um, I think the goal was to save $10,000. That was to go year. towards the air our future per no to go towards <laughs> the purchase of our future home oh, we did save go? we did save the money but it ended up getting spent on replacing our air conditioning unit mm. <laughs> um yeah we've had some we've had some problems so we had the money and then it had to basically be spent on on home repairs yeah um so that's never fun when that happens main goal for 2021 is obviously to save for our new home we're gonna sell this house hopefully pretty quickly okay. um <laughs> and in the in the interim between selling and finding a new place we're gonna live with my parents so that we can save money um which is a huge help and super grateful for that for that lastly the youtube goals um again i don't ever like to put a number on growth because that's just not what this channel is about it's never been the intention to like grow x amount of subscribers in a year like i, I genuinely just don't really care about any of that right. i care about all of you and every single one of you that comes here and watches our videos every week i love you all and thank you so much for being here right. but it's just never been a goal of mine to be like i have to reach you know x amount of subscribers by the end of the year like if right. it grows it grows i want it to be organic i want it to be because you guys want to be here because you like us but i do want to say for all of you guys who do show up to the channel um to consume our content like i want to just keep 
producing consistent content for you guys right now i i try my hardest to do two videos a week um I'm, i want to be even more consistent in that this year i would love to potentially get to a place where i could do three but i just i'm not there and with the way my workload is looking for my my regular nine to five it's just it's not it's not conducive for me doing three videos a week right. between that and motherhood and wifing and all the things so i just want to be consistent in that two videos a week for you guys and i just want to create more quality content um like we invested in a better vlogging camera um hopefully you guys have noticed that in in all of our kind of december vlogs um and that that looks better and is more clear and crisp and all the things better lit um mike bought me some lighting stuff for christmas and stuff I like did. that and so i just want to produce better quality content but i still want to bring you guys like like this like literally we are lounging on the couch <laughs> the real just hanging out talking to you guys the way we would if you were like our friends and you came over to hang out in our living room and so um i want to bring the better quality content but i also still want to keep it authentic to just like us and who yeah. we are now that we've talked all about our goals for the new year we want to hear about yours leave us some comments down below what are your 2021 goals are you setting goals or maybe you're not maybe you're not setting goals maybe, maybe. 2020 just beat the heck out of you and you just don't want to put that pressure on yourself you don't want to have to worry about it you just want to just keep surviving <laughs> in 2021 because if that's the case i totally get that too survive in 2020 <laughs> anyway like comment don't forget to subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one bye ciao